Hello guys, I am engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and today I am here with an interesting and an advanced topic which is called as retrofitting. What is retrofitting? Retrofitting is the method of modifying or repairing something after it has been manufactured. Retrofitting of build, building work Retrofitting of building work includes changing or repairing the structure systems of a building after its construction and occupation. This work resulted in increased safety and durability of the structure. So in this video, we are going to discuss why we need retrofitting, what are the types and techniques of the retrofitting. There are actually three types of retrofitting, but in this video lecture, we will discuss only one type of retrofitting that is retrofitting of reinforced concrete structures. For other two methods, I will make another video. So, to to, so stay tuned. And if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, what is retrofit? To furnish, retrofit means to furnish something such as computer, airplane or a building with a new or modified parts or equipment not available or considered necessary at the time of the manufacture or to install new or modified parts of equipment in something previously manufactured or constructed or to adapt to a new purpose or need which means to modify simply retrofit means to modify. Now what is meant by retrofitting of building? Retrofitting in construction industry refers to strengthening of existing structures to make them seismic resistant. To make them seismic resistant, retrofitting is the method of modifying or repairing something after it has been manufactured. Retrofitting work includes changing or repairing the structure system of a building after its construction and occupation. This work results in increased safety and durability of the structure. Retrofitting of structure means making changes to an existing building to protect it from flooding or other hazards such as high winds and earthquakes. I hope you have understand the meaning of retrofitting. Now let's proceed towards the need of what is the requirement of uh, why we need retrofitting of a building. First of all, we need retrofitting because of structural cracks, damage to structural members, excessive loading, errors in design or construction, modification of the structural system, seismic damage, corrosion due to penetration or honeycombs. These are the uh, answer to the question that why we need retrofitting of a building. So let's proceed towards the types of retrofitting. As I discussed earlier, in this video we will discuss only this type that is retrofitting of reinforced concrete structures. Other two types are retrofitting of masonry structures we will discuss in upcoming video. The other retrofitting techniques it will also be discussed in a upcoming video. So retrofitting of reinforced concrete structures involve first one is adding new shear wall. These are the few techniques or methods of the retrofitting which we will discuss in upcoming slides one by one in detail. First one was adding a new structure that is this is frequently used technique for retrofitting of building of non-ductile reinforced concrete frame buildings. The elements can be either cast in place or pre-cast concrete elements. New elements preferably are placed at the exterior of the building. This method is not preferred in the interior of the structure to avoid interior moldings. The second technique of retrofitting is adding steel bracing. Steel bracing is an effective solution in the retrofitting of building when large openings are required. As you can see over here, where large openings are required, we use steel bracings. Potential advantages due to high strength and stiffness and opening for natural light can be provided by adding steel bracings. The amount of work is also less, so foundation cost may be minimized and adds much less wear to the existing structure. The third technique is wall thickness technique. The existing wall of a building are added certain thickness by adding bricks, concrete and steel aligned at certain places as a reinforcement. 
the weight of the bar increases and it can bear more vertical and horizontal loads also it is designed under special conditions that the transverse loads do not cause sudden failure of the wall rust can be developed on reinforcement if not covered properly by mortar the fourth point of uh, fourth technique of retrofitting is base isolation technique isolation of superstructure from foundation is known as base isolation technique it is the most powerful method for passive structural vibration control techniques as you can see over here base has been isolated from the superstructure when building isolates from the ground it causes lesser seismic loads hence lesser damage to the structure and minimum repair of the superstructure the main demerit of this method is it cannot be applied to the structures like other retrofitting and it is also expensive in the this method is inefficient for high rise buildings and not suitable for buildings rested on soft soils the fifth technique of retrofitting is jacketing technique it is the most used method of retrofitting of building jacketing is the most popularly used method for the strengthening of columns and beams of a building as you can see over here this method is called as jacketing technique jacketing consists of added concrete with longitudinal and transverse reinforcement around the existing columns as it is obvious in the picture it improves the axial and shear strength of column and major strengthening of the foundation may be avoided the amount of work is less as foundation strengthening does not require and increase the shear strength of the column it also increases the confinement of concrete in circular columns steel jacketing does not increase the significant weight of the column and also saves construction time the sixth technique of retrofitting is fiber reinforced polymer fiber reinforced polymer is an axial strengthening system which used to improve or enhance the capacity of reinforced concrete beams as you can see in the picture it can be used for both circular as well as for rectangular shaped columns but it is more effective in former one or in circular columns it is more effective fiber reinforced polymer increases the ultimate load carrying capacity of the reinforced concrete members and improves the shear capacity of the reinforced concrete element also the ductility of reinforced concrete column is increased considerably composites must be dried before repair because all resins and some fibers absorb moisture the seventh technique of retrofitting is epoxy injection method epoxy injection is an economical method of repairing of non moving cracks in the concrete walls slabs columns and piers in retrofitting of building epoxy injection is used to fill and repair the structural fault as you can see over here in the picture it is capable of restoring the strength of concrete to its pre cracked strength the epoxy tensile bond to the concrete is stronger than the tensile strength of the concrete strengthening is provided by installing additional reinforcement across the failure plan in combination with the epoxy resin injections the eighth technique of retrofitting is steel plate caging strengthening of reinforced concrete beams with external plates or strips is a conventional method and has been utilized for many decades as you can see over here in the picture steel plates have been arounded or surrounded by the column to increase its strength the external plate bonding method can be used for increasing the shear strength of reinforced concrete beams by completely or partially wrapping steel plates at the joint of a column and beam an external plate providing perpendicular to the potential shear cracks is effective to increase the shear strength of the concrete reinforced member the additional shear strength is achieved but depending on beam geometry existing concrete strength and applied wrapping method the ninth method of retrofitting is section enlarging technique the enlarged cross section method is used to increase the components of the reinforcement area which enhances the bearing capacity and also increases increase its cross section stiffness and change the natural frequency of vibration as you can see over here 
This method is widely used in the reinforcement concrete structure of the beam, slab, column, etc. As you can see over here in the picture, the width of a slab is being increased by drilling and injecting the steel bars and then uh, filling the epoxy to uh, make a better bond between the concrete and the steel and its cross section has been increased. The enlarged cross section method is suitable for the reinforcement of reinforced concrete bending and compression members. The last method of retrofitting of reinforced concrete structure is mass reduction method. In mass reduction technique for instance by removal of one or more stories as shown in the figure if we increase the one of the story of the building it ultimately increase the uh, will decrease the load on the soil. In this method it is evident that the removal of mass will lead to decrease in the loading which will lead to an increase in the required strength. So that is all for today as I discussed earlier the other part in the other part we will discuss other two types of the retrofitting. So in the end you are again requested if you are new to, new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates.